Uh, the farmer, we're going to be releasing more details on that job soon. Our VIP garage and VIP lounge will also be out in Red County. We're adding a new mats, mats run out in Red County as well, and it's probably even going to be on the water. Um, one thing that the LSFMD is going to be doing, along with the LSPD and National Guard, is uh, some water patrol duties, and we're hoping to increase our RP on the water. And we're going to have that mats point out there. Uh, I'm specifying that at, out of all of our gang slots, w one of the directions for the gangs is that two gangs have to be out in Red County. Um, so out of, I believe, our 14 gang slots, at least two of them will have to be uh, headquartered in Red County in different Red County cities. Um, and we're focusing our development on Blueberry, Dillmore, and Montgomery. Uh, Palomino Creek, we're not so much focusing on right now. It's kind of out by itself. We'll get to that uh, possibly later on. We're going to have more 24 uh, 7s out in Red County, as well as a bank in one of the cities, and of course ATMs located within each Red County city uh, for ease of use. Uh, another big thing that's been requested especially by the gang that currently occupies Red County is we're going in the future this isn't something that's of our top priorities right now so a little bit down the road government zones and uh, people can control the government zones um, it'll be kind of OOC -ly worked out and then of course RP'd in character um, so you know government zone one would be all of uh, the government of San Andreas. And then, of course, uh, Tierra Robata is currently in control of Red County. So something like that could be government zone two. And that's just something to add some increased RP with um, the ability for independent nations to eventually control. That's something that has to be OOC -ly monitored because we can't have you know, the government easily retaking cities that are being RP'd within uh, these independent, you know, gangs that are taking control. And we can't have gangs waiting until there's five LSPD on to go take control of new zones, too. So that that's going to be added eventually, but it's going to be oc -ly monitored and uh, administered. And here in a minute, I'm going to let you guys uh, have a chance to speak about... Uh, some of the stuff, uh, comments that you have about how the progress is going so far and some new stuff that you would like to see as well. Uh, right now, we have two openings in the community advisors team. Um, a lot of people have asked how they can become a community advisor. And the easiest way, we have remade the process to where community advisor and admin recruitment have been merged together. Uh, essentially, any level three admin or any general admin and higher can recommend you for community advisor. Um, essentially, pretty much everyone has to first go through the community advisor process because that's kind of the admin training ground. We get to see how a person works and what they can be trusted with on a more limited proportion. There's still going to be some times when we have to uh, hire secret admins to fill some voids in within certain zones. Um, so if you are interested in being a community advisor, the best thing I can tell you is a you can speak with the chief advisor. Uh, he talks frequently with the senior administration here, but the, you have to get the recommendation of a level three admin to go forward. Um, We'll go ahead and I have a few more points, but we'll stop there and allow you guys to do some talking and uh, serious only. So, someone had uh, an admin or somebody had something to say just a moment ago. Yeah, that was me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, with the phone number changes, is this going to be like when you ask for a phone number change, do you get a message with the with the numbers already taken? Because every time I get reports from people, this guy has the same phone number as me. 
Yeah. Um, there will be, that's something that I've already asked the, uh, that I've already asked the development team about, and we are going to work it out. Hold on just a minute. Guys, uh, kick those people out of uh, AFK in case there's other people who want to connect. Um, yeah, there will be a way. We're going to create basically a master list that'll check all numbers that have already been taken to prevent you know more than one person from having the same number. Okay. Uh, if you would like to talk, if you'd like to ask a question, comment on how things are going so far, um, or uh, stuff that you would like to possibly see developed, go ahead and we'll hear from you. We'll start with Avery. Go ahead. Um, actually, I'll just ask you it later. It's, it's kind of... All right. Uh, Joe Cold got a question. It looks like. If All right, there. Alexander Marshall. I have two questions. Uh, going to the name change. Uh, how are they gonna know who's in like SIU or FBI? Like if they need a name change for sting operations and such. That'll still have to be manually done. They'd have to be requested through a senior admin. Alright, and uh, on the VIP packages, um, whenever, I understand the gold, you have to pay $100 for one time, but say like you stop paying the monthly fee and later down the road you wish to buy another gold package, would you still have to do the $100 one time fee? No. No, you only have to do that once. And like I said, the one-time fees to partially cover, you know, those things that you'll be able to keep even if you don't have VIP. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Yeah, that's it. All right. Bo. Um, with the VIP thing, right now on the forums, retired admins have access to the VIP section. Will we have access to that in-game? And if we do, what uh, package would it be? No. Um, nope. That won't, it won't have any effect out there. I mean, we can give people VIP, but it would have to be given for a specific reason. And that's not uh, one of the reasons that we have uh, considered. Alright, that's it. Alright. Uh, Devin, I, I got a question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what if a person uses the VIP garage to uh, exploit out of a LSPD or a civil service faction arrest or chase? Well, that's, the thing, that's another thing. Uh, if they are wanted, if they have wanted stars, VIPs will not be able to enter the garage. Oh, okay. Yeah, the uh, restricted areas that are restricted like that, if they do have wanted stars, they won't be able to enter. Um... And Zach, uh, honestly, there's no way around that. Uh, that's the case in anything. And we've tried to make it as fair as possible, giving the VIP people uh, some advantages, but not too many. Okay, yeah, Yoko. Serious problem. Hey, um, how about the houses? Because currently people only use their houses for uh, storing their crack, crack guns and uh, things like that and earning money with people just renting their houses so uh, will it be uh, getting more development to the house interiors like uh, kitchens that have uh, bars where you can actually buy food and scripts like that 